Sylvie Biancari, General Manager of the Grimaldi Forum, good morning to you. Good morning. I'm quite interested in, in your profession and in your role here at the Grimaldi Forum. What was your career path that took you to the post that you're, you're with now? Okay. Well, um, I was in Paris before uh, joining Monaco. I uh, arrived to Monaco uh, 15 years ago. Uh, at that time, when I arrived to Monaco, uh, the Grimaldi Forum was in, in construction. And uh, I joined the tourism board of Monaco, and uh, they proposed to me to follow uh, the construction and uh, uh, at the same time uh, to know more about the business tourism, and that's what I did. And uh, finally, I joined definitely the team of the Grimaldi Forum. So I, uh, since the amazing. opening, let's say. So you saw it yeah. on the uh, construction yes, point yes, as well. Yes. It's like a, a baby, you know. I can imagine <laughs> it is. But yeah. what are the aims and the goals of the Grimaldi Forum? Well, um, the aim and the goals were, um, um, there were both uh, goals, uh, major ones, um, and it was fixed by uh, Prince Rainier and Prince Albert at that time. Uh, the idea was really to, to, to try to present in the forum um, very important events, exhibitions, uh, shows, uh, philharmonic concerts, ballet, mm -hmm. uh, very high profile events, let's say cultural events, to attract people and also to, to prove and to evidence that, the Grimal that Monaco has uh, a cultural know-how. And, and your role here, um, how has that influenced the development of the Grimaldi Forum? <laughs> <laughs> My influence. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I have. Well, of course, we all have an influence. Uh, I think that uh, you're being very modest. Now. <laughs> I don't know. But I um, I think that the staff is really important. Yes. And uh, and the the, the, the way team effort. The, yes. It? Yes. And I think we need really to create a kind of uh, of team. And the team is really important because uh, uh, the, the the Grimaldi Forum. It's it's. Uh, it, it, it's it's running uh, all year long, you know, three three hundred sixty days. Uh, you you have something in it, so it's uh, you and for uh, and for people, for visitors, but also for uh, uh, delegates, uh, they come and they have one event, and this event this event has to remain for them as unique. Yes, so of course. An experience. The, yes. So probably I think that the, 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 the difficulty is to try to convince, persuade, motivate the staff that, of course, for them, it's their daily job. But for the people you have in the forum, it's an experience and probably it has to be an unforgettable experience. Absolutely. Now, the Grandi Forum is celebrating its 10th year. And I only just read last night, actually, that the British voted the Grimaldi Forum as the best conventional conference centre in Europe. That's yes. quite an achievement. But how uh, do you not in Europe, out of Great Britain. It's more than uh, in Europe. Well, of course yeah, it yeah. is, out of, out of Great Britain <laughs> yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how do you envisage the next 10 years? Well, it's a, it's a challenge, you know, uh, because um, effectively 10 years in the event industry, it's not a good point. It's not a good asset. You, you could, it could seem, well, they are a, a little bit older, you yes, see what yes, I mean. Yes. So uh, it's probably this impression that we have to erase <laughs> yes, from the, yes. the mind of people. Uh, we need to, uh, I think, uh, prove that uh, at the Grimaldi Forum, uh, even we are 10 years, we are 10 year experience. So we are, of course, very experienced. We have been awarded, as you, as you said, but uh, we can do more. Uh, my main target for the 10th uh, forthcoming years would be to sell the exhibitions we produce abroad. Because Fantastic. one more time, uh, when we say our goal is to promote the cultural savoir-faire, the cultural image of Monaco abroad, it's also um, to, to try to, to sell uh, to important museums. That's what we do actually with uh, um, Grace Kelly exhibition. Yes, but, that's uh, on tour in London, exactly, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. But there we have also projects of touring uh, uh, some other exhibition, Japan, Egypt, 
to and to sell it to other museums in the world and that's good I think because uh, when uh, uh, you will get uh, uh, the name of the Grimaldi Forum Monaco uh, in a museum in Asia or uh, in the States uh, I think that uh, we, we will we will have that. succeeded probably. Well, with the uh, the Kyoto Tokyo exhibition, that took three years to organise. I heard. Yes. Does it? Is that typical? Yes, it's typical. It's typical because uh, for a, a very important exhibition, you need to lend uh, pieces and important pieces. Uh, for museums are also important for them, so yes, yes. Uh, they uh, they really need to plan when they are able to lend these pieces, and uh, we are not, of course, we are not alone to organize uh, in the world uh, uh, exhibitions like that. So if we if we if you need to rely on certain major masterpieces, you need to really work uh, two or three years in advance. After with some countries like Japan, Egypt, Russia, uh, negotiations take time. Of course, it's, it does, uh, it's a arrange. question of culture, <laughs> let's say, but uh, it takes time. And um, where do all these ideas come from? Because they're quite fascinating. Because this next one is about Europe. Yes, celebrating the 19, 19 countries of Europe. Exactly, royal houses. Uh, now, is that the theme? Is it all yeah. about royal houses? Tell me more about that and how that's coming together. Well, the idea is to um, to to tell a story, a, a, an amazing and a kind of fairy tale uh, of um, of royal houses in Europe. Um, we have selected uh, 19 royal houses. So uh, the the exhibition is basically um, based upon the private collections of these oh, royal houses. Incredible. And uh, I think that it, it's going to be probably a very popular and amazing exhibition with a lot of very impressive uh, pieces coming from uh, from all private Europe. collections that and have never been seen exactly, before. Exactly, probably not, of course, not together for sure, but probably some of them we, we didn't see them before. And you, Sylvie, what do you find more stimulating, the cultural events or the business conferences? Do you have a preference? I don't have a preference. I think that what is really uh, very stimulating for me is a combination of, of, of both aspects in this, uh, in this Grimaldi Forum. Because I think that really it's our originality. It's, uh, uh, there's no, there's, there is no center like that in Europe, and I could almost say in, in the world. This is unique to get uh, a, a convention center and a real cultural center. When I say a real one, it means we don't only uh, welcome and uh, having performance of, uh, of shows coming mm -hmm. from uh, uh, coming here, but we produce the exhibi these exhibitions. We have we edit catalogs. We are a real uh, um, uh, convention uh, real influence convention well. center and a real cultural center. And this is probably something that we need to keep absolutely for Monaco because Monaco is unique and the Grimaldi Forum has to be unique too. To <laughs> complement it in that exactly. way. Exactly. Well, I'm going to put a question to you now. Yeah. If you could imagine any event that you would like to hold personally, that's you, your own personal idea, what would that be? It could be anything in the world. So personally, I would say that uh, I would dream about a, a kind of a, a summit, very important summit, which could uh, change uh, the life of the planet, for example, you know, uh, um, to make yes, a G20 summit where uh, countries could finally uh, set up and uh, and design the um, very important agreements about the future of the planet, for Working example. for a better world, yeah. basically. Because I think that it's uh, Monaco is already and 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 of course our prince uh, Prince Albert is already very already very involved in this team so yes. probably uh, that would be something really important for Monaco and for the values he, he he defends and that we defend with him thank you so much it's been absolutely fascinating <laughs> talking to you Sylvie Biancari from the Grimaldi Forum thank you very much thank you so much